So this is a 13 year old uh, male uh, who's uh, brought by his mother um, after suffering a fall, uh, playing football with his friends. She came in after two days after the injury. She, you know, he's a linebacker, you know, playing football, fell down, started complaining of back pain. Came to clinic a couple of days later with severe back pain, neurologically normal. And there was, uh, you know, no tenderness or palpation in the back. So pure back pain. Any patient with trauma or a history of trauma, you got to always start, not with an MR, maybe an X-ray or a CT scan. And you can see here, that's the CAT scan. Sagittal image. Okay. Alignment is okay. I mean, these are the parasagittals. And there's a fracture here a fracture of what we call the pars, interarticularis. So it's the region of the spine that bridges the inferior facet to the superior facet of, this is L4. So as a pars fracture of L4, okay, a pars fracture. And then, you know, when we look at fractures, we'd say, okay, is it stable or unstable? This is a stable fracture. So we start with managing it using bracing. So, so this is also another, this is a coronal CT showing the pars fracture. See, that's a normal pars of L3, but you can see a fracture line on both sides here. That's an axial image. Bilateral pars fractures. You, can, you see them in athletes sometimes um, uh, too. Uh, you know, they suffer from it. Sometimes they don't know. Then they come, they come in at a later stage, complain of chronic low back pain. And you'd say, well, it's not a fracture, then it's a defect. So, but this patient came to us with a, with a fresh fracture because you can tell it's a fresh fracture. It's not well corticated. Corticated means like this. This is well corticated. It's hyper dense. Hyper dense when you talk about a CT. Intense when you talk about an MR. So this is a pars fracture of L4. Mom is worried and patient is in pain. So we, we treat him with a brace for four months. Unfortunately, comes back, still painful. Now this young boy on narcotics, skipping school classes. So you'd say, okay, he's been in a brace for four months. Let's see what happened to the fracture. Usually these fractures heal within three months. So you repeat the CT scan and it has not healed. You can see it's either the, the gap is worse, and is worse, is worse than, than, the, than, than, than it used to be four months ago. And you'd say, okay, well, we brace him for four months. It's not healing, and it's, he's symptomatic from it. He has pain because of it. Now, one way to confirm that the pain is coming from really the pars fracture, I mean, it's 99.9% .9 is coming from it, but you can definitely confirm that with a, with a pars injection, where you numb this area with an injection if, uh, with steroids and um, uh, uh, xylocaine. The pain management doctor can do that. And this would confirm if the patient's pain improves, even if for a couple of days, that confirms that that is the pain generator. Always get an x-ray, make sure that there's no subluxation or dislocation or what we call spondylolisthesis, and he didn't have. So that's the injection. So see, they inject here. See, next to the pars, they put a dye just to make sure that the um, um, material that they're injecting with goes to where they want it to go. And the patient got relief from this. So we told the mom, okay, uh, let's fix it. And there are many different ways to fix this, uh, short of a uh, fusion. You don't wanna, like, sometimes you can, you can fuse L4 to L5, but the patient will lose motion. Another alternative, you can put uh, what we call a pars repair, just bridge the cap, put a screw here and the hook here, and it just um, helps the fracture heal without fusing the disc or across the disc. That's a pars repair and the patient's pain improved significantly. And then you can see that it has healed here uh, on a follow-up uh, CT scan. This, you don't have to remove the hardware because you did not do a segmental fusion. You did not fuse one vertebra to the other. His flexibility in the spine is unchanged compared to before surgery. Call it a pars repair or osteo, osteosynthesis. Everyone, Ryan Rad here from NeurosurgeryTraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.